There is one government program that most everyone says is a big success, and that's Head Start. Head Start has been such an extraordinary success over all these years. It's a program that's working. Everyone loves Head Start. It gives underprivileged kids some early education to give them a head start before regular school. Its lobby says it's a place where dreams are born and minds are nourished, talent can grow, curiosity flourish. Head Start is a great program. And it gets results? I think there's tons of results. I Everyone thinks that, but it's not true. We've spent $180 billion on a program that has zero advantage for disadvantaged kids. What do you mean kids. zero advantage? There was a study that just came out in 2010 funded by the federal government. It looked at 114 indicators. It did not find one positive outcome. Some poor kids got Head Start, other kids didn't. They couldn't tell the difference between the kid that had the large Head Start investment and the similar poor disadvantaged kid. The government's own study found positive impacts while the kids were in Head Start, but one year later, all gone. By kindergarten and first grade, they could find no difference in the kids that went and the kids that didn't. Now our president's taken a strong stance against ineffective programs. We've got to eliminate programs that don't work. Eliminating programs sure that, that don't work. That do eliminating have. programs that no longer work. We've spent more than $100 billion, and the government does this big study and finds, oops, no difference. Right. So they say, OK, we're going to stop. No, instead, it gets a billion dollar increase. And then the next year, in 2012, this year, it gets a $400 million increase. And in Obama's 2013 budget, it gets another $100 million increase. I had a chance to visit one of the classrooms here. Uh, and I, I have to say, it got me a little choked up. We because, should be choked uh, up because government keeps spending more money on programs that even they admit don't work. I wanted to confront the administration or people from Head Start about this, but they wouldn't talk to me. So I'm glad Congressman Ellison did. You cannot tell me that the, that the food that they get, the instruction that they get, the love that they get from the people who work there are not doing these kids tremendous benefit. I would like to believe that they get a lasting benefit, but the government's own data finds none of that. Well, you know what? That's not the problem of Head Start. That's the problem of, of not adequate investment in our public education system. What would be enough? 50,000 a kid, 100,000 a kid? The line is always, we have to spend more money, and if we're just better funded, we'll eventually get better outcomes for kids. That's what the big spenders always say about most everything government does. Yes, we can. More money and government power will fix everything. But no, they can't.